Hello everybody, this is the Starving Martian and today we're taking a look at Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, the comic book adaptation uh, published by Viper Comics and uh, Black Mamba. And um, this was put out back in 2008. This is not a uh, sequel. This is not a continuation of the story. Rather, this is a comic book adaptation slash update of the classic um, 1978 film, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. And um, so this basically the story in here follows the story of the movie beat by beat. Uh, they did add a couple new jokes. Uh, they've taken out some dated references and added some new references, which is, which are already dated. In fact, this comic book to me feels slightly more dated than the original movie, which is odd, but um, so be it. But um, so let's get a uh, look at some of the um, <clears throat> artwork in here. Uh, look at the story. First, I will point out that this is issue number one of three. And it cost $3.25 when it first came out. And it can still be found online for about 4 to $6. Um, you know, I would recommend checking your local comic book shop. Uh, they might even have these in the dollar bin. But um, but if you can't find it there, it's, it's not that expensive to track down online ebay or amazon both good sources first of all let me say i do like the uh, image here of the tomato um it is as i said this is an update of the classic and so that looks to me like a good update of the classic uh killer tomato image as uh, seen on the dvd cover here All right, so let's crack this puppy open and see what we got. Let's take a look at our vicious veggies, our putrid produce. And it begins by saying, In 1963, the birds made us fear the skies. In 1975, Jaws made us fear water. In 2007, 300 made us fear being gay. Today brings a new threat, a new fear angry dinosaurs, and, to a lesser degree, man-eating killer tomatoes. We don't see the dinosaurs, but that's fine. Uh, begins with a update of the classic um, old couple watching little Timmy get eaten by tomatoes, because that had to be there. And then the uh, crime scene. You don't uh, actually see her get killed by a tomato this time around. But uh, you can infer that that's what happened. And this is what I was talking about when I said that this feels even more dated than the uh, movie. On the bottom, we have this guy saying, Best case scenario, Osama Bin Laden. Right. So then the helicopter goes down in flames. A uh, famous sequence in the movie that was a complete accident. And they just happened to be filming it and uh, incorporate it into the story. So nobody had to risk life and limb this time around. The army men are literal army men, which is kind of cool. Um, there's a, a nice little um, discussion up here, talking about Mason Dixon, who will be one of the central characters. He says, I don't know who that is. No one does. He hasn't worked since the failed invasion of Canada. Wait, we tried to invade Canada? We don't talk about it. They had Ewoks. So, that I liked. Uh, we meet the rest of the team in this tiny room. Anybody who's seen the movie will remember this. The um, robot Bruce is here. He's been updated to now look like a crash dust dummy. And, um, you know, I happen to be kind of a crash dust dummy aficionado, so that's fine with me. He's just as inept as ever. In fact, even more so because now he auto-destructs and nearly kills everybody. All right. Moving along, we meet the rest of the strike team, including Sam Smith, the Master of Disguise, uh, Greta Adabom, the um, swimming expert. Why they need a swimming expert and an underwater expert is beyond me. Um, 
Ironically, the next scene does take place in the water, but there's no way to help anyone. This is the famous um, tomato attack. And this scene is actually kind of played straight. Um, there's no real jokes here. There was in the movie, like a couple little comments, but um, I just play it as a straight uh, attack of killer tomatoes. And then we get introduced to the uh, press secretary who, spoiler alert, in the movie we find is actually the main villain of the piece. But there's no hint of that just yet because this is just the first part of the story. Another tomato attack. And we are introduced... Uh, to the musical stylings of Ronnie Desmond with his hit song, Puberty Love. I actually have the audio soundtrack to this movie. It came with my DVD. And so I have the uh, Puberty Love song I could play anytime I want. But uh, being that I actually own Killer Tomatoes and I don't want to kill them, I, I generally don't. Uh, the famous sequence with Sam Smith disguised as Hitler. Isn't that a convincing uh, costume there? And it fill, fools our friend Finletter. My God, it's Adolf Hitler, he says. And uh, I do like that line they added for him. For Anne Frank! So they get to the uh, motel where, the, where they will be staying. And... Um, Finletter had a bag of marshmallows in the movie. He still does, except now they are official Stay Puffed marshmallows. So, connected universes confirmed there. All right, following, as I said, the story of the movie. Um, except for some dialogue changes, there's very, very little difference, but... Um, you know, if you like the movie, you'll probably enjoy the comic. Still has the, um, the looking at the strategy map. What are the red circles? Machine gun emplacements. Though I don't think they'll hold much longer. Green line is the furthest line of advancement. That's right. And the blue spots? Mobile gas stations. So they were able to use the uh, brand name mobile there. I wonder if they got any product placement for that. And it closes on perhaps the best cliffhanger ever. They've captured one of the enemy. But tests have come back. And uh, may God help us. This is a cherry tomato. Uh, nothing after that. This is just a preview of something called Gypsy Joe Jefferson, which nobody cares about. And that wraps up um, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. If you've seen the movie, there's very little new in here. Just some jokes removed, some new jokes added. Um, but it's just fun to be able to see, you know, scenes you remember uh, being reproduced in comic book form. Uh, the artwork, I think, is fine. I, I do enjoy the art for this. I think it fits. It's uh, just cartoony enough to capture the, um, you know, kind of silly quality of the um, concept of, of tomatoes killing people. I do like the fact that, aside from the cover, they did not, you know, add faces or, like, thorny vines or anything. The tomatoes, just like in the movie, just look like tomatoes. I would be interested to see in parts two or three if any of the tomatoes look like paper mache Unfortunately, even though this is called part one of three, they never published part two or part three. This is the only um, one that ever got published. It's very sad. Um, I don't know if it just didn't sell well. Um... You know, I'm not familiar with Viper Comics uh, from the previews and everything else they had in here. Nothing else they published strike my fancy. Uh, for example, on the back, they have an ad for something called Wolf and Batsy, which seems so unimaginative. It's just really, you know, named them Wolf because it's a werewolf and Batsy because she turns into, yeah, we got it. And um, so I'm, you know, if that's the A-game that Viper Comics pumps out, it doesn't surprise me. That uh, they were unable to finish their three-part miniseries here. But, you know, if you've seen the movie, you know 
how the story ends. So it's not a, a great loss not having the other two. I still would have loved to be able to see where they would have gone with this. But, um... Anywho, so this has been a look at um, issue number one of three of one of um, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Um, if you missed it, I also do have um, a review uh, on uh, my channel for the uh, Killer Tomato action figures. I've shown one before. Here's another. Um, just uh, click on my name, Starving Martian. It'll be uh, somewhere in my videos. In fact, I'll make a uh, Killer Tomato playlist to put these two together. Um, so, have fun with that. Until next time, guys, this has been the Starving Martian. Keep watching the skies and those vegetable gardens. Bye.